It is rarely simple to bond with rabbits. There are always stumbling obstacles and unforeseen circumstances that might make it appear as if the connection will never work. During these moments, you must employ novel methods to bring your bunnies closer together and help them become best friends. Be patient and avoid hurrying your rabbits, since this will just prolong the process. Once you've found a way that works for your rabbit, stay with it until they're connected. But, of course, be patient isn't always the best advice. Sometimes rabbit bonding just doesn't work, and we need to try something else. If you're stuck with your rabbits and don't know how to help them get along, try one, or more, of these methods. Petting side by side. Petting your rabbits next to each other is one of the most useful actions you can take. This causes your rabbits to feel calm and pleasant when they are near each other, making them more likely to get along even when you are not around. If your rabbits are having trouble getting along, pet them together for 10 to 15 minutes at a time. It's also a good idea to end each bonding session with 5 to 10 minutes of head scratches and petting side by side to make sure you end on a positive note. This technique to use as a reward when working with anxious rabbits. Rather than placing them next to each other, I wait for one rabbit to approach the other. Then I immediately start petting the rabbits. This calms the rabbit's anxiety and rewards the behavior and bravery of approaching the other rabbit, making it less likely the rabbits will fear each other in the future. A bit of banana. You can track your rabbits into grooming each other by using a little bit of banana. Mash up the banana and place a small amount on one of the rabbit's foreheads. The other rabbit will come and lick the banana mush. This causes one rabbit to feel like they are being groomed, a loving behavior among rabbits, and the other rabbit is happy because they get a yummy treat. You can then reverse the roles and place a bit of a banana on the other rabbit's head. If your rabbits don't like bananas, you can use other foods as well. Unsweetened applesauce is a common option that is well loved among rabbits. Move to a new location. If you find you are stuck in the bonding process, try switching up the bonding area. Sometimes the first location you choose is not a place that's working for your rabbits. The area might not be neutral enough, or your rabbits might just not like the place. Try experimenting with different sized spaces as well. If your rabbits are in a small space, increase the size, or reduce it if your rabbits are in a large area. Every pair of rabbits will respond differently to the place they are in, so change it up until you find something that works, then stick with that for a while. Stress bonding. To be honest, I was worried about using stress to bond rabbits before I started. I don't like the idea of causing unnecessary anxiety. While stress bonding is not a technique that should be used all the time, I've learned that it can be necessary when bonding rabbits who continue to be aggressive toward each other. Stress bonding forces the rabbits to comfort each other when they are scared, thus causing positive feelings toward each other. You should never consider your rabbits fully bonded, even if they get along after a stress bonding session. However, it is a way to get your rabbits to stop attacking each other so you can start to see progress during their regular bonding sessions. Common stress bonding techniques are Bringing your rabbits together for a car ride Walking up and down stairs with your rabbits in a box Vacuuming around your rabbits when they are together Placing your rabbits in a basket on top of a laundry machine End sessions on a positive note No matter how poorly the bonding session went, Ending on a positive note can give you a better starting place for tomorrow. This technique makes it more likely that your rabbits will have positive memories of each other since that's how they ended together. To achieve this, you can feed your rabbits at the end of a session. Give them their daily pellets or leafy greens to encourage the positive feelings of eating near each other. You could also end each session by petting your rabbits side by side to encourage those calm, relaxed feelings. Use a squirt bottle when necessary. This is another activity that I avoided, to begin with. I am a big fan of positive reinforcement in animal behavior and training, so using a squirt bottle to discourage bad behavior seemed wrong. However, taking the advice of someone more experienced at rabbit bonding, I found that sometimes it is necessary and helpful to use a squirt bottle with aggressive rabbits. If one of your rabbits is constantly snapping and lunging at the other, use the squirt bottle to stop them in their tracks. Watch your rabbit very closely. As soon as you notice their aggressive body language toward the other rabbit, give them a little squirt on the forehead. This forces the rabbit to stop and clean off its face, preventing potential injury to your other rabbit. If you are consistent about using the squirt bottle, your rabbit will eventually learn that their behavior is causing the water, and they will stop trying to attack your other rabbit. The water is not harmful to the rabbit in any way, it's just annoying. The squirt bottle works as a distraction, protecting the second rabbit. Make the sessions fun. As much as possible, you want to make bonding sessions a positive and happy experience for your rabbits. If your rabbits are bored, they might get frustrated with nothing to do for long bonding sessions. 
Then, with no other target, they'll take that frustration out on the other rabbit. If you give them toys, treats, and hiding houses to play with, you can make these sessions fun. Your rabbit will look forward to the bonding sessions, enjoying their time with their bunny friend. This will then make the two rabbits much more likely to bond more quickly. Marathon Bonding A more advanced method of helping your rabbits finally bond is going for a marathon bond. This is when you put the rabbits together 24-7 and keep them together until they get along. You'll need to be with them through the whole process, bringing them with you in a carrier when you need to leave the house, or getting someone else to watch them. The idea is to give your rabbits no other option than to get along. One way or another, they'll have to learn how to share the space because now they are together until the end. However, I do not recommend this technique to anyone new to rabbits or bonding. You'll need to spend a lot of time with your rabbits and observe them very closely to prevent fights. It's bound to be stressful for both you and the rabbits until they finally learn to get along. Take a break. If things really aren't working and your rabbits won't get along, sometimes the best course of action is to take a break for a while. Separate your rabbits and let them live in their own independent spaces. Don't worry about swapping enclosures or daily bonding sessions. Just let your rabbits relax and forget about everything. After a couple of months, you can try bonding again. Many times a break like this will almost reset your rabbits' attitudes toward each other, making them possible to bond after a long break. You can also choose to take a break if you're the one feeling too stressed. Sometimes rabbits can sense the anxiety from us, which affects the bonding process. If you need to, take a break for a while. Try again when you are in a better mental state. Time to give up. Some bonds are better left to fade away. If either rabbit shows severe amounts of stress or anxiety that do not fade with time, it may be best to discontinue the bonding. We want our rabbits to be happier in the end, not stressed out about having to share a space with someone they're scared of. The other reason you might give up on bonding your rabbits is if they continue to show aggression toward each other, despite your best efforts to prevent this behavior. This is especially true if either rabbit has managed to injure the other since that will not be forgotten. The rabbits have bad blood between them and are less likely to ever get along. Despite this, most rabbit bonds do work out eventually. I've even heard of rabbits who finally bonded after two years of trying. If you're up to it, you can take breaks and try again as many times as you need to. However, it's also okay if keeping the rabbits separate makes everyone happier in the end. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.